What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazer Fitness. Let's start this video with the latest physique update of William Bonac, who is now less than 8 weeks out of his next show, which has not been confirmed that it is gonna be the Emperor Classic Spain. And keep in mind, this is gonna be his first show of the season. Yes, he's gonna compete multiple times this year. So, the Emperor Classic will be his first show after one and a half years. Just like the former Mr. Olympia Big Rami, William Bonac's last contest was the Orange Classic 2023. And at that time, he was being coached by Chad Nichols. Now, I have to say the last two shows of William Barnack with Chad Nichols, they were not really that good. In fact, they were like some of the worst of William Barnack's career, especially in terms of his placings. Because at the Arnold Classic, he wasn't even able to make top 6 that year. And it was his worst placing at the Olympia since 2014. And 2014 was the year he made his Olympia debut. So William Barnack is now in prep with Stefan who is the current coach of Urs, Wesley Weezers, Martin, and Nathan Diasha. So he is definitely one big name in the bodybuilding industry. And his athletes mostly are very well conditioned. So for 8 weeks out, Barnack looks very good. And he has that crazy mass and the density that he is always known for. So if he can actually bring the conditioning, he has everything to win Emperor Classic Spain in 8 weeks time. And the reason I'm saying that is because the caliber of competition at that show that isn't gonna be close to either the Arnold Classic or the Olympia. So far, the hottest name at this show is gonna be Bahros Tabani, because him and his coach Milos has already confirmed that Bahros is doing Spain. So William and Bahros has never stood next to each other, and Bahros Tabani is just sorting out his career, while William Barnack is at the very tail end of his. So beating a guy like Bahros Tabani, that isn't gonna be an easy task. But that being said, as fans, we want William Barnack to qualify for the Olympia and have a chance to say goodbye to the sport at the biggest stage of bodybuilding. Now, realistically speaking, I don't see William beating guys like Andrew Jack or Hunter Labrada. Those guys are big and they have closed the gaps in their physique so much, especially in the last couple of years. And we already know that those top 6 seven sports at the Olympia are just gonna be so hard to crack for anyone. And one of the reasons is there are two very big names coming back, Nick Walker and Big Rami. So those top sports are pretty much locked in. But still, I am really looking forward to Spin Pro and see what William Bonner can accomplish with his new coach Stefan. So far, Andre Presti has also confirmed his attendance at that show. And if Michael Crizzo also does this show, it is gonna be one hell of a show. Next up, we have a physique update from 5 times Classic Physique Mr. Olympia Champion, Chris Bumstead. Now, I know some of the top guys in Classic Physique, like Vasily Wiesers, Ramondino, or Sklashinsky, who have competed at the Arnold Classic this year just recently. They're looking way better than Chris Bumstead right now. But we have to keep in mind, all of these guys just competed like 4 weeks ago, apart from Ramondino. But still, all of these guys were in prep. But Chris Bumstead was completely off everything. And not just the PEDs and the gear, we have seen it in the past as well. He lays off everything, the diet, the training, the PEDs, everything, to give his body the break, the rest. And this has worked so well for him so far. But all that being said, his look at 6 months out of this year's Mr. Olympia, that is looking so damn impressive. And the reason I'm saying that is because he is looking very leaner at this point in time, compared to the previous years. And his coach, Honey Rampart, has let off the offseason plan already. So as we heard from Chris Bumstead a couple of weeks back, that he's gonna build up to 265 pounds, and then start the prep from there. And he has also told us, as he is gonna become a father very soon, that has already motivated him so much. So Chris Bumstead appeared on the Primetime Muscle that aired on the Olympia TV this week. And he was very calm and very composed. That is gonna beat all these guys, including the reigning Arnold Classic champion Wesley Wiesers as well. So for Chris Bumstead, it is all about completing this prep and staying injury-free. Because we have seen that he has had some bad luck, especially in the last couple of years. Last year, it was a torn lot, and prior to that, it was a bicep tear. But just because that injury happened at the peak week, and it did not hinder his training, that 2020 look, that was easily the best of his entire career. So talking about the reigning Arnold Classic champion, Vasily Wiesers, we have his update next. So whatever protocol he is running right now, it is working really well, and in the best possible way for him. We are almost 6 weeks post Arnold Classic UK and Vasily still looks extremely lean and if he really has another 3-4 to four additional pounds before he hits the weight cap then I have to say he is gonna be more dangerous than Ramon Dino because Ramon simply doesn't have any room to grow doesn't have any room to get bigger so can Ramon be bad than his Olympia 2023 look? Maybe he can, he can be slightly better but the margin of improvements are very little while Vasily on the other hand 
he has a lot of room to grow and can be a lot better than what we saw from him at the Arnold Sussex Ohio. And the reason I am saying that Bessie can be so much more dangerous is because even his look at this year's Arnold, especially from the front, and how his muscle bellies were popping, that was beyond impressive. So if he can top that, I think he's gonna be more dangerous. So Vassi is a very disciplined bodybuilder. And throughout the year, even in the offseason, even when he is in the detox phase, he stays very regimented. And these two Arnold Classic bins, these came after years and years of competing at the Olympia. So the motivation he must have right now, that must be sky high. So Chris Bumstead, Ramon and Vassi, that's most likely gonna be our top three at this year's Mr. Olympia. So another name in classic physique that has a lot of room to grow to get bigger. That is Terence Ruffin and he must also be mentioned here as he is the two times Arnold Classic champion and two times runner up at the Olympia. So he won Shuru Classic last year in that post Olympia tour and he secured his Olympia qualification early. And Towns has been working extremely hard throughout this offseason to make some big improvements for October. So back in 2018, he placed ninth, took the whole year off, came back in 2020 and he was able to beat Brian Ansley and he placed second for the very first time in his career. And his battle with Chris Bumstead in 2021, that was even more impressive and that was so so close. So we have seen only a few offseason updates from Towns. So he has hit that 200 pounds mark already with a very good offseason condition and his plan is to go up to 215 pounds before he starts the prep for this year's Mestral Olympia. So the biggest edge Towns Sufin has over everyone especially in that first callout is that he has so much room to grow, so much room to get bigger and he doesn't have to worry about making that weight cut off. So let's see what kind of a look he brings to the stage this time. And then, uh, yeah, first thing tomorrow, I'm back fully into the gym, I'm back to training and yeah, things have been good man, it's been a nice relaxing break and it was well needed. Four days of just taking a load off. Ending this video with Samson Daouda, the Nigerian lion, enjoying a very much deserved vacation after a long season. So the Arnold Classic UK physique, that was a very big step forwards. That was a step in the right direction, especially in terms of conditioning for Samson Daouda. He was able to showcase so much more detail, especially in comparison to his look at the Arnold Ohio. We never saw that kind of detail on him before. And even at the expense of a little size, that package was so appreciated not just by the fans, but by the judges as well. And that is why Samson had some first place force at the Arnold Classic UK. So soon this vacation is gonna be over and Samson is gonna be back to that offseason grind. Now I have to say he isn't gonna be the most impressive guy at the Pittsburgh Pro next month. If you have followed Samson for a while, then you must know he cleans out his system for 8 weeks before jumping back on the gear. And he is one of those guys who takes a break from everything, even TRT. I've been 5 weeks now, I've had 5 weeks off completely cleaning my system up for the last 5 weeks. So uh, I still got three more to go, but then as soon as that three is done, uh, off season begins, and then I'm gonna start uh, growing again. So third place at the Olympia last year, the best of his career so far. So will the return of Nick Walker will that have any effect on his placings and most importantly his strategy for this year's Mr. Olympia? Because that rematch, that is gonna be so interesting. That is gonna be so good. Because if you guys remember. Even the reigning Mr. Olympia Derek Lunsford believed that if Nick Walker was there competing at the Olympia 2023, he could have been in third spot instead of Samson Daouda. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.